Hello, you're welcome to Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review, and I'm really excited to be here. Thank God for another time to come your way. If you are just joining us, this is Open Heavens International. We review Open Heavens on a daily basis, and I want you to follow us on all of our social media platforms so that you can be part of whatever God is doing and don't miss out on any of these episodes. The Lord will bless you as you join us in the mighty name of Jesus. Our topic today says a brush with fire, a brush with fire. Very interesting, uh, you know, eye-opening message our Father and the Lord has shared with us today. Our text today is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. And our memory verse from Exodus chapter 3, verse 5. The Bible says, And he said, Draw not near either, put off thy shoes from, from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you for opening our eyes today to see the truth in your word. He has that this word will benefit us in the name of Jesus. A brush of fire we we come upon us. We are going to encounter you in the mighty name of Jesus. As this word is released, you will find us where we are and help us to our next phase of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father in the Lord, open us up to the experience of Elisha with Elijah. He said, when Elijah met Elisha, remember, Elijah received instructions from God when he flee for his life, and he was in a state of depression. God fed him, and when he was done with him, he gave him certain instructions to do. One of the instructions is to go and anoint Elisha. But when he got there, the Bible says he cast his clothes on Elisha. And Elisha said, wow, can you please let me meet my family members before I follow you. And Elijah asked, what have I done to you? But they both knew something has happened to Elisha. Because the casting of that cloth upon Elisha is a casting of a brush of fire upon him. Beginning from that day, the life of Elisha never remained the same. Because he now carried the mantle of God upon his life. Uh, it wasn't no surprise when Elijah left him. The first miracle he did was to use the same mantle that he received to part the Jordan because the power of God has come upon him. There is a brush of fire that comes upon a man that never lived in life of that man the same. Remember, he carried double portion of his anointing. Every miracle that Elijah did, the Lord doubled it in the life of Elisha. That's what the power of fire can do in a man's life. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, the Bible talks about the fire of God in the life of Moses. Oh, that was an interesting story. Moses came with a rod, ordinary rod, for a shepherd, you know, just using it. But the Bible says that when he came in encounter with God, the Bible first identified that where you are standing is an holy ground. Off your, take off your shoes. And when he was departing, when Moses was departing, that rod became the rod of fire. Remember that when he started showing the Egyptians what God has told him to do, and they were not ready to listen, then part of the miracle he, was, he did was to use that same rod which became a snake that swallowed up all the other ones of the, uh, of the men of, of Pharaoh. And they became aware of what God can do through an ordinary thing that became a rod of power. I want to let you know that God is still in the business of transforming life and releasing man to into a man's life. The question today is, are you ready to carry the power? Are you ready to carry the man to? Are you prepared to receive that which the Lord has prepared for you. Because the difference between you as a believer and the unbeliever is the power of God you carry, the Holy Spirit that resides inside of you to perform one signs and wonders, to preach the gospel without any fear or trembling, to bring as many as possible into the kingdom of God. That encounter changed the life of Moses forever, changed the life of Elisha forever. Our Father in the Lord said that there was a woman many years ago who the doctor has you know, declared just go and prepare, go back home and die. And she said to her children, he said, please don't take me home. Take me to the headquarters, the religion of God in the Putemeta. And they said, Mama, there is no service today. The pastor is not going to be there. And she said to them, I didn't ask to see the pastor. I'm not going there to see, maybe there is a service. Just take me there. And the, the testimony was that when she got there, because she could not walk by herself, they had to assist her. And by the time she got into the auditorium and then, you know, touched one of the pillars 
Our father in law said that the woman became healed instantly, that she was strong enough to walk back to the car. That was the power of God that was rested in that auditorium. Can I let you know, the power of God is still made available. The same potent power of God is still available. I was in one Holy Ghost service that our father in the Lord was preaching in that Holy Ghost service. He noticed the interpreter getting closer and he said to the, please take some distance away. The power that is resident here is so much. You know, why they continue in the sermon, I just saw the interpreter fell down, down. Oh, I mean completely on the ground. You know, and that is said, don't worry, leave him alone. Let's continue. And before the service, I was praying my spirit that, oh God, I hope this man will not pass on from there. But glory to God, he came back to life. The power of God was so, so much present. And that same power is still available. Can I ask you, are you ready to carry the power? One of the things that separates us on taking on this mantle is seeing the Bible says that the hand of the Lord is not too short to rescue us. Neither his air is blocked to hear us, but our sin has separated us. So you must be able to part away with sin so that you can carry the mantle of God, so that you can carry the power of God that is made available to you. I pray for you today, you will encounter God in the name of Jesus. As this word comes into you, wherever you are, either you are in your room or you are on your way to work, wherever you are, the power of God will come right unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. There is some spontaneous, tremendous power in anything that has taught you holy ground. Don't just go to service casually. Be conscious that you are going to the place of fire. When you go to your local assembly, go with expectations and you will see that you will experience the miracle of God in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You say, Father, the next time I come into your presence, please don't let me go back home the same way I have came in the mighty name of you. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus.